Hi, welcome everybody from Technos to the dedicated focus on the BlackBerry 10 OS. First of all, I want to thank our friend at Global World Mobile for this interesting BlackBerry Z10 we have for our test. Well, let's today we will give a look to the new BlackBerry 10 operating system. And in particular, the first things I want to show you is the gesture system. This is really interesting and I guess it's something that some other some other OS's like iOS or Android should should really give a look to because it's very very useful it's very you know a functional way of using your device with gestures. Well the first gestures is the one used to unlock the device so you don't even have to press any button you just have to perform this wipe from down to upside of the device like this and you will in the um, you know altogether you will reveal the lock screen and unlock it all together like this this is a very nice gesture it's very you know useful when you use the phone it's really fast to unlock your device Another gesture which is really interesting is the, one, is the one performed from the upper side to the lower side like this and it will reveal, like in this case, the quick notification panel the quick settings panel, sorry in other uh, cases like if you are into an application this swipe will reveal the application menu settings so menu panel so like, like this. So this is really really useful. Another very interesting gesture is the same you use to unlock the device which is usually you know used when you are inside the operating system and you're working with your device just to put in background any running application. For instance right now we're using the Blackberry messaging app so I just have to perform this swipe to like to have you know this small widget of my own running application I mean I was running Blackberry messaging up I performed the swipe from down to the upper side and I create this small like it's like a card you know with the application running and in, into it what is really interesting is that some application like for instance if I do select the Meteo app like this when you uh, put the application in the background the card with the application running in it will become you know uh, like a small widget like this so we change its aspect just to adapt to the card layout and to become a widget this is really interesting some application like for instance this which is the weather or this other application which is the dialer if you put it in the background like this you will have the, the list of the missed call right now I just clean my uh, call log so we don't have any kind of missed call here another application uh, you know that can, can become a, a widget is for instance music let me find it here we go if I put it in the background the car will become a widget revealing the last um, album I played so this is really really interesting and really I mean very well implemented moreover the uh, last gesture I want to show you is this one from the lower side to the middle and then right this kind of gesture just reveal the Blackberry hub so just to sum up, we have three main gestures, the one from down to up to, re to unlock the screen or to put in background a running application, the one from the upper side to the middle to have the uh, quick setting panel or the menu panel when you're running an app, and the last one is this kind of gesture used to reveal the Blackberry hub. So, in the meantime, while showing you the gestures, I'll even show you the main, uh, let's say, uh, part of the BlackBerry 10 operating system. The 
first one is the lock screen of course then we have the app drawer then we have the multitasking menu and last but not least we have the blackberry hub this one so let's give a look first to the lock screen this one is the lock screen so we have a uh, few info here we have the time date we have the next event into our calendar we have two row here two lines that we can uh, put you know custom text on it i've just put my nickname then we have on the left few icons in this case i just have the emails notification icons but i could have even twitter or facebook or whatever can integrate itself with the uh, blackberry hub then we have this icon here for the camera so it, if i do press the icon uh, like this i get directly into the camera application what else when we are into the lock screen the things that it's really nice is this you know animation to use to sorry unlock the lock screen it's, it's like a fading you know the the lock screen is fading revealing the uh, menu in the background this is really really nice animation what is what else is really interesting here we have what is called night mode if we perform this gesture from up to the center we reveal the small icon here with a bed on with the uh, sorry the icon is represent the bed with uh, a moon above the bed this is night mode if we perform the gesture all the way down we have this very very nice clock indeed with after a few seconds just you know get darker and we can just see the here you know the um, the hour and all that stuff this is really nice especially you can use it when you are charging the device and you even have the possibility to uh, you know um, mute all the notifications so it's really a, a good night mode for this blackberry 10 okay now let, let's unlock the device and let's see the app drawer this one is the app drawer is very you know it's not that far from what we can find for instance into ios or android 2 we have uh, all the icons here and we have this very nice card sliding effect while changing from a page to another what else we can for instance create automatically uh, the directory here just putting uh, an icon above another like this and then you can select the name of the folder sorry when we perform this long press of an icon all the icons starts blinking like this and we can change the place of an icon for instance or we can even disinstall an application just clicking off this small uh, rubber here the rubbish can here sorry you can see here if i tap it we can decide where to delete the application or not so it's really nice it does remind me of course of ios app drawer what else we can for e for instance uh, as i showed you um, recall the quick um, settings panel this is interesting because we have on the side if we click on the if we select the icon we have the on off switch for the function functionality behind the icon while if we just touch the the name here we get directly into the dedicated menu very very interesting way of uh, you know implementing the quick settings panel we have if we go into the settings just few settings I want to show you for what concerns the BlackBerry 10. We have here the network connection. We can select flight mode, of course, and we can uh, manage all the uh, connection, mobile, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
NFC of course because this BlackBerry 10 uh, Z10 has NFC, mobile hotspot, internet tethering and VPN. We have the possibility here to change wallpaper, font size. The, um, we have of course auto brightness and there's no way to disable it. You just can select the basic level for the uh, brightness but you will always get the auto brightness management of the display. You can even decide whether or not to activate the gesture for the lock screen which are in my opinion really really useful. These are the two lines you can customize for the lock screen too and you can for instance select whether or not to have uh, HDMI audio output. Another very interesting um, settings is for what concerns barrier protect which is almost the same as what we can find into iPhone with Find My iPhone. Then we have here the media sharing because this device is DLNA uh, you know compliant so we can for instance uh, send video and audio or even just pictures to another DLNA compliant device. And this one is really interesting too because in this storage uh, and access menu we have the possibility to select the USB mass storage mode. This means that we can finally see the external SD card as a USB storage device when you connect the uh, Z10 to uh, computer, Mac OS or whatever. So these are maybe the main interesting settings for what concerns the BlackBerry 10. The last things I want to show you uh, about the uh, management of the operating system is the uh, multitasking menu. I mean, I've already told you before, if I start an app, I can send it in background with this gesture. I can even, you know, activate many other apps just to give you a quick idea sorry uh, what else for instance music and going background I can select BB, BB messaging or weather okay we have four but we can reach up to eight background running application look this is the compass which is really nice because we have this 3D effect. Okay, so as you can see, I have now five of them, but I can close whatever application it's running in background just selecting this small cross icon here on the lower right uh, corner of the card I want to close, like this. So, this is really interesting. We have moreover in the, sorry I forgot to tell you that when we are in the app drawer we have this small bar here on the lower part of the display with this fixed icon. I mean we cannot customize them. We have the diary, we have the search which is really interesting because we can search into almost everything inside this device, application, content, documents, settings music, videos, picture, browser, text messages, BBM, remember, calendar messages, I mean everything. And we have here the settings, quick settings for the camera application. So this is for what concerns the um, OS management. The other very interesting things I want to show you is the BlackBerry Hub. This is just a hub as the word itself is plain, where you have all the notification possible into your device. I mean, you have notification itself from the operating system, but you have even notification for BlackBerry messaging, text messaging, your email or emails, if you have more than one, Facebook, Twitter, and this kind of uh, um, you know, notification, Google Talk, it's just because we have uh, the possibility to plug in uh, more application into the BlackBerry Hub. So Google Talk was an external application 
with a plugin for the hub. So as soon as I install the Google Talk application, I have the notification integrated into the BlackBerry hub and then calls. Of course, we can filter our you know, view given the uh, notification selecting on this left side, which is really interesting as you can see. Okay, or when we are, for instance, into an email, we can even choose any kind of subfolder into the emails. Okay. Moreover, when we have when we are inside the BlackBerry Hub, if we perform this small swipe here, we reveal the next day calendar event, of course, that we have inside our calendar. So this is really, really interesting. This was the BlackBerry app, just one, you know, hint. When we get inside any application, almost any application, I mean, the diary is not the kind of application that has this problem. For instance, BB10, uh, BlackBerry messaging, as you can see, the notification bar quickly disappear. I mean, most of the app have this way of, uh, as this behavior, I mean, like by worth too, as you can see, no notification bar, or what else, text messaging, no, here we have it, because everything dealing with the BlackBerry Hub has the notification bar always visible, which is quite good to me. But it's not nice that any other app doesn't have the notification bar visible. So when you are inside such kind of apps like this, for instance, you have to perform this little swipe like this to reveal the notification here and to finally have back the uh, battery meter and the hour and signal meter. So this is to me a weak point of this operating system. In my opinion, it's very, very useful to have the notification bar always visible because I always want to know what time is it how much battery I've got left and what's the signal on my device. So it's not that nice to have to perform this kind of, you know, half gesture to have re revealed the notification bar in the notification icon. This is another weak, weak point. I mean, the notification for what concerns emails, SMS, missed call and everything else can just be found here on this left vertical bar here. So whenever I want to know what's going on, I have to perform this half gesture to see what kind of notification I'm missing. I mean, we, we have the blinking light here, but on the upper notification bar, we don't know what's going on. We just have to perform this small swipe to see what's going on. Last things here, these are the page index if we select it and you know move left and right we can quickly move between all the pages and the multitasking menu as well as the not the blackberry hub well what what else can we say let's speak about the blackberry reward this is the application store or call it whatever you want market or the now the of the blackberry 10. We should have at least 70,000 ready app into the BlackBerry world. But the truth is that we have very few uh, BlackBerry 10 apps. The point is that the BlackBerry 10 can run Android apps using the Android runtime, you know, which is compliant to up to Android version 2.3, so gingerbread. This means that we can run Android application into this BlackBerry 10. Well, stop it. You cannot run APK, you know, without any kind of conversion. You have to transform your APK application into another packaging, which is called BAR. You have two ways to perform this action. You have to become a BlackBerry 10 developers. This way you will have a signature to you know, convert the APK format into the bar format, or 
very very easy you can use uh, several sites I mean website that just let you upload an APK file and give you back the bar version so this is really a nice way to behave at least it was very very smart from Blackberry to give the possibility to uh, you know use Android apps they already knew that they won't have uh, that much application at launch time so they you know really made this smart move to my opinion what is really interesting that you have now two way to load Android, Android sorry apps you can download directly the one into the Blackberry store here or you can sideload the apps you can sideload the apps using the let me show you the device you have first of all to activate the device uh, sorry the development mode like you can activate it for instance into any Android device and then you can use some uh, shell tools or even easier um, a plugin into a browser like Chrome to load the app directly into the Blackberry Z10 just let me show you what I did here I was even able to to load for instance Google Maps and it's working together with the navigation system and the turn-by-turn -turn navigation so it's really really nice I mean the Android application um, maybe not that completely fast maybe sometimes they are a bit a bit laggy like this as you can see but they are nevertheless very very enjoyable and it's such a pleasure to be able to run Android application even on this Blackberry 10 as you can see the graphic layout is typical of gingerbread because I as I told you the Android runtime is compliant up to gingerbread um, once more they already announced the new Android runtime which will be compliant up to Jelly Bean 4.2 so this will be really interesting to see in action so what is really nice is what when we are inside the application the Android application as you can see we don't have any kind of menu or notification bar or whatever we have to perform the usual gesture to reveal the um, you know the com this bar here when well, we have even the three dot menu that act like the Android menu button so selected this we can finally get into the Android application uh, menu settings so very very nice as you can see I've, be, I've been able to load for instance uh, Google Maps and uh, Facebook pages and Twitcaster. I mean, I'm using, for instance, Plume as my default Twitter client into the BlackBerry 10 because I didn't like the uh, standard, the default Black, the Twitter client into the BlackBerry 10. You know, I switched on Plume, which is the Android version of Plume, of course. So this is really nice. I mean, to be able to load Android apps directly into this BlackBerry 10. So a very nice move very smart move from our blackberry so this was just the you know a small review of the blackberry 10 as you can see there are some strong points like the gesture system which to me is very very interesting and some other you know very uh, easy to find weak point because of course this is a very new operating system so it has several way to you know to to get better so for what concerned is a uh, focus on the blackberry 10 that's all uh, once more thanks for watching and bye from technost